All right, hey guys, what's up? Uh, so today I wanted to share with you something that I thought was kind of interesting. We are looking at the uh, Sense MI technology on an AMD Ryzen 7 1800X CPU. Um, I thought this was pretty cool. Basically, uh, uh, the Sense MI is a collection of technologies uh, which help to optimize the power delivery and the clock speed of the CPU. And one of the things that they claimed to be able to do, uh, AMD claimed, was that uh, the CPU could sort of sense uh, what kind of a cooling solution you had and, and adjust the clock speed, the overclocking automatically based on that. And that's what we're looking at right now. I just wanted to show you what was going on. Um, and this is something that I stumbled on by accident. Uh, I didn't know about this until until uh, I ran my stress tester inside of a box. Um, and what I mean is that my computer, my computer is actually inside of a cabinet. It's part of my desk, and then the door on the cabinet is closed, and so the computer is trapped inside of a wooden box. In fact, let me just kind of show you that here real quick. This is my computer desk, and then down here um, is where I keep the computer. Now. I'm going to keep that closed because I don't want to let any of the, the, the hot air out. Um, I've, been, I've been stress testing this for hours now inside that box. Um, I've got status core over here on the right. It's, um, it's keeping the CPU under load. You can see I've got every single one of the threads uh, is doing the stress test. Uh, and then um, you can see how much power is being drawn from the UPS. Uh, and this is fluctuating because in the background I've got uh, the GPU is under load with its stress test as well. It's doing some Ethereum mining uh, and that tends to fluctuate a little bit. So but you can see that uh, it's running on average about 475 watts. Uh, it'll even peak to as much as 522 watts. Um, anyways, and what that means is that inside that little wooden box there uh, in my computer desk is uh, a 500 watt uh, heat generator and it's making an oven. So this computer is not overclocked at all. Right now, I just have the default settings. Um, one of the things that I did do is I dialed back the voltage just a little bit to try to help control the heat, because uh, it is quite hot in there. Um, <clears throat> and uh, so I'm just gonna show this to you, what I'm trying to talk about. So the, the sense in my technology, like I was talking about before, is something that controls the clock speed uh, based on its uh, the sensors that it has that figures out you know, what, what is the safe, uh, safest speed to run the CPU. So right now, the Sense MI technology is keeping the CPU uh, just a little bit over 3.5 gigahertz. Um, and here's the interesting part. I'm gonna open the door to uh, my desk here, and, I'll got, and I want you guys to watch how quickly the Sense MI technology is able to respond to this. All right, the door is open, and the hot air is coming out and you can see the CPU clock speed is starting to increase. In fact, uh, it hasn't even been open for 10 seconds now and it's already gone up 50 megahertz. Uh, and there it is. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna take it all the way up to 3693. Uh, that's gonna be the maximum. Um, I'm not doing any overclocking at all. This is, it. like I said, it's on its stock setting. Uh, and so the Sense MI technology is taking care of the overclocking automatically. And there you go, you can see it's, it's clawing back most of that clock speed and it's almost there, it's almost there. 3693 is the target. Boom, there we are. And uh, there you go, it's, it's locked in at three, uh, basically 3.7 gigahertz. Um, now presumably, if I was doing some overclocking, it might, uh, it might actually take it up higher, or if, <laughs> or if I didn't have it inside this box, it might even take it up higher. Um, but that's what's impressive is that's the default settings with all cores active, so it's actually keeping it uh, 100 megahertz above the base clock. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, but anyway, so I, I also wanted to show you something else, just to give you an idea of uh, of how warm it is. I've got a thermometer inside there, and according to this baby. The ambient temperature uh, peaked at 102 degrees Fahrenheit before I opened that box. So right now it's at 97, um, but it, it, the max there was 102. So pretty hot. Um, anyway, so yeah, that's I mean that's it. That's my whole video. I just wanted to share with you uh, the uh, sense of my technology in action. So if you liked my video, uh, like it and uh, uh, subscribe. We're gonna do. We've, we've I've got some plans. Um, if you've been following my channel, you know that one of the things I'm, I want to do is I want to take Status Core and 
I want to look at the IPC of uh, various uh, programs on uh, different generations of processors. Uh, and so that's going to be coming up pretty soon. I've got, what I've got over here is I've got a collection of PCs that I've been building. Um, that's just a bunch of cheap junk that I bought off eBay. It's really easy to buy. <laughs> it's really easy to build some old computers. Uh, over here on the right, we've got, uh, this is the King here. It's a dual Xeon Ivy Bridge uh, uh, workstation. It's got 48 core, uh, excuse me, 24 cores and 48 threads. That used to be my old workstation. Uh, next to it, we've got the Core i7-920. That's the Nehalem uh, generation processor. Next to it over here, we've got the, I've got a Core 2 Duo. That's a Conroe. And then uh, here we've got some Dells. One of them has a um, Ivy Bridge based. Uh, it's a Core i3, I believe. The other one is a Sandy Bridge based Core i3. Um, and then up here on the top, I've got this. Um, this is an Intel Atom. Uh, base tablet. In fact, <laughs> this is like the shittiest, crappiest computer you've ever seen. It's terrible, but uh, just for fun, you know, I wanted to include that in, in the test. Um, I, I still don't have a Haswell-based computer yet, so I'm working on that one. Uh, that'll be soon. Um, as far as a Broadwell-based computer, I'll be honest with you guys, I don't think that's going to happen. I, I do have access to one at... Uh, at, at, at the office, but I don't think I'm going to be able to include it in my test because um, I just don't have that much time. And being able to buy um, a Broadwell E on eBay for cheap, for the purpose of this video, probably not going to happen. Uh, maybe what I'll maybe what I'll think about doing is maybe I'll start like a Kickstarter campaign to see if I can raise like a couple grand uh, to get a Broadwell E included in that video. But we'll see. Anyway, so if you want to see that video. Uh, uh, subscribe to my channel and um, you'll be notified when it's ready. Anyways, thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you next time.